Hello Libra and welcome to my channel Green Line Goddess Tarot. This is your monthly reading for October. So happy birthday to all you beautiful Librans that are having a birthday in October. And so yeah, it's actually a great time to get a personal reading around your birthday. So I do do personal readings, just a little reminder. So the link for that is in the description box below. And then we also move into Scorpio season in the second half of the month. So let's see, I get this feeling for you Libra that there's something that's kind of like Hmm, I'm a bit so so about, I'm not sure about, but then there's these higher potentials that become apparent. So, hmm, let's see what this is about. Okay, we have, I want to put this down, but you do have the two of shells, which is the two of cups coming in, union and harmony. We've got seven of crystals, options and results, and the nine of feathers, perspective and self-empowerment. This is the kind of weird funky energy that I was getting not that it was that funky it was just I was like not sure about it so this little aardvark slowing well okay if I'm not feeling sure about something I'm going to take positive action I'm going to move forward because the sun's in your sign so it's injecting a lot of beautiful new solar energy um, new energies are being for the whole year are being uh, being activated here and this aardvark's like going well I don't have to put up with a situation or a, something in my life. If it's not feeling right, I choose something else. So I'm going to go and find a different result. This nine of feathers is saying that it's actually listen to if something's been irritating you or annoying you because this is an empowering, you're making some empowering choices here. And I think that it's kind of um, clear that you're seeing something from a different perspective. Um, and through this empowering energy, you can make some really fantastic choices. So the nine of feathers, just be careful about your sleep, that you're getting enough sleep. That's all I will say. Or your stress levels, make sure you're working on that. Um, but we do have the two of shells, union and harmony. And I feel like this is the higher potential because I kept getting this energy that went ooh, right up like that. Now we are moving into, they reminded me, my guides are reminding me, eclipse season. <laughs> okay, October is eclipse season. And we have a beautiful new moon in your sign at 21 degrees of Libra. This is an eclipse. And we also have a full moon in Taurus, which is the opposite sign of Scorpio in Scorpio season at the end of the month, which is also an eclipse. So we're moving into the eclipse tunnels and eclipses bring change. They can bring change. They can bring revelations. They can, sometimes they don't affect you at all. It just depends if they're affecting certain parts of your chart, but they definitely, it, it kind of what I feel like, especially yeah, around just around or after your new moon is this energy of higher potentials coming through. And this is the two of cups. Look at these beautiful doves coming in, coming together. It's it, this is the card of love and connection. So union and harmony is coming through. So this is where you're going to be, it's a sense of someone's being brought towards somebody. There's a closeness, there's a light. I just see it as a light coming together and beautiful light energy around that. And it may be, okay, you're connecting to new hopes and dreams through with this person or through this connection in some way, but suddenly it feels like something is so much more possible. So... It, it actually is a very beautiful feeling. So this is usually the card of love and connection, but it could be like a best friend or a family member or a, even a pet, but there's this closeness that comes with it. It's the sense of the two of you coming up together with the same frequency that creates this portal for new possibilities. So it's, yeah, there's something around a partnership that is um, that can help rise you up out of um, some energies if they're not feeling great. Okay, so let's pull an affirmation card around that for you, Libro. It says, as I say yes to life, life says yes to me. Yes. Life mirrors my every thought. As I keep my thoughts positive, life brings to me only good experiences. So, yeah, beautiful. Absolutely. Fantastic. So let's see what's shifting and changing for you, Libra. And I feel like this yes is very much connected to this coming together and the two light energies coming together with this union and harmony, which is really beautiful. There's something about that, whether you're saying yes to this or yes to a connection or yes to a person or yes to love, or the connection is allowing you to say yes to something that you really need to be saying yes to. But yeah, interesting. Just be kind of aware of this as, as something very magical. It's like a beautiful blessing. So what's shifting and changing for you? We've got one, three, Sun, Aries. 
and Pentacle 7 Saturn Taurus reversed. So 1, one to 3 Sun Aries, this is your opposite sign, the Aries energy. And, but this is the opening up to the new possibilities. The sun is exalted in Aries. The sun is in your sign. Sun represents vitality, joy, energy, seeing something clearly. It's life force energy coming through. So this is where there's potentials for you to kind of activate something and to go for something here. Um, but it kind of feels like it's like... Um, there's potentially more than one person involved with this. So you might need other people to come on board or get somebody to help you or something like that's happening with this because I'm kind of getting three energies involved with it. Um, we've also got Pentacle 7, Saturn, Taurus reversed. So this is where, yeah, the work is being put in. <laughs> the work is being put in for material gain or some kind of material result or material growth that you're looking for here. So, yeah, this uh, definitely may be that you're thinking longer term, absolutely, about the investments of time, effort, energy, money, love even when it comes to longer term. And the Saturn energy is saying it's time, but it's, time, it's something that can grow over time with putting the work in. So, but the wheels feel like they're in motion now, which is really fantastic with this wand three. Sun Aries is about getting some positive results coming in. So let's see what else is coming through. So Libra, I just wanted to let you know that this reading is for Libra, Sun, Moon and Rising. Always recommend to watch your three of your placements if you know where they are because it gives you a more holistic view, a bigger picture of what's going on for you. And this is a general reading, Libra. Just take what feels right, leave the rest. Yes, you are ready to activate step into something new here with the full uh yeah if it does really resonate there will be an extended reading and the link for that will be in the description box below and it's hosted by my patreon channel so you get to check out all the other premium content that is around as well so the fool wants to take a leap of faith and step into the unknown activate something new reset Okay, but there are commitments that are potentially stopping you at this moment in time. What's stopping you from doing this? Sometimes the fool just wants to go off traveling or try something new. There is something that is kind of blocking you along the way. So let's see what else is coming through for Libra. What else is coming in for Libra? Oops. The Queen of Pentacles. Let's get this spread out for you here, Libra. The Queen of Pentacles. Actually, I, don't, I just want to shuffle a little bit more to get the right energy in. <laughs> okay. We've got the Two of Wands, the Ten of Cups. Very nice. This is good energy coming through for you here, Libra. I feel like there's something new calling you. Um, maybe the, it feels like it's the right timing, but... It's moving slowly. Ooh, the emperor, look at you bossing up here. Absolutely. And you're the magician. My goodness. Wow. Page of Cups. You are just like mercurial. You're on fire here, Libra. Wow. And the star card. Whoa. Okay, Libra, what is going on? Wow. I think this has also got a lot to do with having that south node in your sign as well. Uh, and the eclipse season, this is time... Yeah, eight of wands, time for focus, time to activate. Absolutely. I feel like what I'm getting is um, just energetically, it feels like there's these light codes within you, these new potentials this that are suddenly being activated, this very, very high frequency. And it's like, whoa, okay, <laughs> all right. Um, feeling very like there's a sense of purpose, feeling very guided along this, maybe being connected to new gifts and abilities, but it just feels like, whoa, okay, total reset with the fool. So the fool wants to jump off, leap into the unknown, um, activate and start something new. And it is crossed by the here event, like I said, which is commitments, responsibilities, um, the current order of things. So it's kind of like, hmm feeling blocked a little bit by that but in your conscious mind we've got the queen of pentacles this beautiful queen it's the divine feminine energy wants to nurture stability wants to com nurture comfort wants to nurture prosperity so potentially you're wanting to bring something more stable into some something that brings more that yeah this sense of stability into your life so this could be perhaps you're wanting to feel more secure 
within a situation uh, and this could be to do with uh, a relationship or money or even money within a relationship or a living situation but it's like this whole concept of prosperity is not just money as well it's I keep getting safety and comfort so what is your comfort level how safe are you feeling all that sort of stuff might be going through this beautiful queen of pentacles mind it could be to do with like regularity of these things so it's like looking long term the quality of life the regularity of the things that bring you this sense of comfort and prosperity so yeah you're kind of looking at the this quality and the cycles around that at the base you've got the two of wands so this is activating the new path this is taking those first steps. This is, um, yeah, the first, the new path opens up. So I, I, this Queen of Pentacles, in a way, she likes being in a comfort zone. So in a way, there's something inside your mind that's like, yeah, I want to be more comfortable, but I know I have to kind of activate something new or step out of my comfort zone in order to bring this new level of comfort in so in the recent past we've got this ten of cups and this is the card of happiness so potentially you know wanting to connect to happiness or thinking about your happiness or long-term happiness but um, perhaps there's been something that came in that made you really really happy um, with this ten of cups it's a nice energy to come through around that so they're sort of wanting you to focus on something that has brought you happiness that or you're thinking about that that's kind of feels like it's all part of the moving towards the full the reset the starting something new in the near future you've got the emperor energy so a lot of aries energy which is your opposite sign but at the very end of september there would have been the full moon in aries which is your opposite sign and so this is kind of like we're looking at the activation of what was shown in that and because it was can would have been uh working with the north node energy as well which is a sense of purpose uh, fate the new energy that your, your soul saying i want to learn this this is a new direction that we're going in there's something that comes in loud and clear that is being revealed to you and you're kind of like seeing the path ahead so you're stepping into that kind of areas like energy which is being the emperor it's being strong assertive making something a concrete reality stepping up bossing up taking action taking charge so if this is not you there's someone around you that's very powerful like a powerful client an authority a boss someone around that or has someone that has authority in your life but i feel like this is a positive influence coming in so you in the spread are turning up as the magician so you're coming yeah they keep saying power 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 with the emperor so you're coming into connection with powerful people or connecting with your own power in the near future but yeah this is something that um can can actually make this happen it can move this forward in a really tangible way okay so the magician this is you very mercurial this is mercury coming in the magician is opening his mind this energy opens the mind becoming very consciously aware of things now new possibilities divine interventions divine inspirations your own divine energy and you've got everything that you need this is kind of this sense of i've got what it takes the universe is working with what's around him, the the world around him, the resources around him, working out how am I going to make this all happen? So you kind of... Um, being a potent manifester here with the magician card energy surrounding you got the page of cups so there's actually new opportunities coming your way here with this page of cups new things that you can open up your heart to and so yeah i feel like there's opportunities and offers and surprising things that are coming your way here um, and i think yeah it's it's like the page of cups is fresh new energy around emotions as well so fresh feelings or a refreshing kind of person or energy around you it's like an emotional refresher but it's good everything there's not one negative card in this reading i mean other than a little bit of stress being blocked by a commitment but it's all so positive it's actually really really good so this is a really great time to kind of set a clear find a clear slate 
activate something new and move forward with it. So in the hopes and fears, we've got the Knight of Pentacles. This is actually long-term energy, like thinking longer-term future, and it's slow-moving energy. So it's like understanding that some of the things that you're choosing at this moment in time have got a longer-term kind of result or commitment that is coming through. It might take a little bit of time to see this kind of working in your life, but yeah, it, it's kind of the Knight of Pentacles is also the energy of trust. So trust is going to be potentially a, a theme that comes through. Can you trust this new direction? Can you trust this person? Can you trust yourself? So there's lots of things, but ultimately this Knight of Pentacles is very reliable. So it's like a reliable, searching for some kind of reliable new path that comes in new energy and as an outcome we've got the star card how beautiful is this this feels like wishes fulfilled beautiful blessings of peace and healing coming your way but the star is like following your north star following the direction of the future and with this and all this Aries energy of the north node coming through it feels like it's like you're making some doing something very significant for your future energy here that just feels right it feels right with the star it's like this just I feel guided to this so yeah it's fantastic with the star card what a, an amazing and beautiful outcome you have and so we have as an overall energy the eight of wands this is the card of focus action focus energy and results coming in so it can be a real shift of energy it's very clear and direct news or communication if you're using new communication or you're waiting for news so this could be good news coming through, but ultimately what I'm getting with this Eight of Wands is it's time to focus. It's time to shift your energy and focus in on whatever this new path, this new sense of purpose is coming through for you. And yeah, just focus on that. There's some really, really good energy coming in around it. So that's why we're getting, there's an opportunity for you to say yes. And they're saying, yeah, as you say yes to life, life says yes to you. So let's pull a charm for you, Libra, and see what's coming in. Let's pull a charm for Libra. We have, ah, the little owl. Isn't that beautiful? Little wise owl. Okay. So it's interesting because sometimes the fool gets pinned as being foolish for jumping into something too soon. Um, but interestingly, we've got the owl coming in as well, which is wisdom. So trust your divine wisdom, trust the guidance that you've been guided towards this with the star and that if it looks like a new path is activating and opening up, you can work out how to make this happen despite the fact there's something kind of quite, um, you know, something blocking you with the Hierophant. But this could feel like something, you know, quite big, but it's the emperor works it out. So this is wisdom experience that comes through with the owl and the owl's like kind of seeing something so clearly as well it's looking straight on at something and so I think that you just got to trust that you're seeing things so clearly now you're making some really wise choices and decisions and you've got to trust your instinct with this sense of it might be time to, to um, initiate something or take action. Trust that, that you're being guided in that because it might be a little bit, you know, it might feel a little bit different to or not what you're used to, but it's what's been asked of this energy here. And to have confidence, that's the other thing I'm saying, to have confidence even if you're not feeling it, to, um, yeah, to have the, the confidence to take this action and to assert what it is that you want in this situation. So that's your reading, Libra. I'm going to take it over to the extended reading now. We're going to see the star card has come through. This is success. This is wishes coming true. This is being really guided to activate and start this. So let's see where it's all going because it's like, boom, this feels right. So let's see where it's going in the near future, the future beyond. We're going to explore it even further, go deeper, ask for any clarifiers. And so we're just going to, yeah, explore the reading more. <laughs> and, and so love it if you come over. Let's see where this is going. The link is in the description box below. As I mentioned, it's connected to, it's being hosted through my Patreon channel. So you also will get access to a whole heap of other content as well. So love it if you come over. The link is in the description box below. Please like, subscribe, share, leave a comment. Love to read your comments, Libra. 
As also mentioned, this is a great time to book in for a personal reading as well because when it's your birthday or the sun is in your sign, new energies and potentials for the year get activated. So that's also a good time to book in. So yes, and that's it. Please take care.